Hey guys, welcome to the Moments of Physics. My name is Muhammad Hassan. By the grace of Allah, I am safe and sound, and I hope that you are also safe and sound. We are living in the century of science, technology, and society. When we had no idea about science, even then their lives governed by the principles of different branches of science. So, if you want to study the nature, you should study physics. When we light a fire, it is a chemical process. When we eat and digest food, it is a biological process. When we walk on earth, it is governed by the laws of physics. So, there is no single activity of our lives which define our one or other field of science. Similarly, physics governs our everyday lives and it in, is involved in a number of activities we perform and things we use in our daily life. Here we will discuss how physics is playing its part in running our everyday tasks and assist us to do our errands, course, duties smoothly and effectively. Physics is considered natural science because it deals with the things that like matter, force, energy and motion. As these all are related to tasks related to everyday life, so we can say that physics studied how the universe works, how earth moves around the sun, how lightning strikes, how refrigerator work and many many more. A number of principles of physics are involved in simple act of walking. It involves concept of weight, Newton's three laws of motion, inertia, friction, gravitational law, potential energy and kinetic energy. Moreover, thermodynamics is a branch of physics that deals with heat, temperature and work done due to it. Heat is a form of energy that can be transferred from one medium to another medium. During the 17th century, the modern science of physics started to emerge and became a widespread tool used around the world. Many prominent people contributed to build up of this fascinating field and managed to generally define it as the science of matter and energy and their interaction. However, as we know, physics is much more than that. The study of physics is a fundamental science that helps us the advancing knowledge of the natural world, technology and aids in the other sciences. In the natural world, physicists find new discoveries constantly. Some of these discoveries including the study of motion and force. The well-known artist Sir Isaac Newton came up with the three laws of motion, which state rules and facts about the movement of an object. A body is in motion, will remain in motion at a constant speed and direction unless an outside force acts upon it. This is the first law. The net force acting upon an object is directly related to the mass and acceleration of an object resulting the acceleration is in the direction of the net force. We can see force is equal to mass and acceleration. This is the second law. The third law is when an object applies a force to another, then the object applies the same amount of force back to the first object but in opposite direction. Some things that appear weightless actually do have weight and so qualify as matter. Air has weight and is thus a form of matter even though a cubic inch of air weighs less than a grain of sand. A helium balloon has weight but is kept from falling by the force of the surrounding more dense air which pushes up on it. Einstein predicted as consequence of theory of relativity that light would after all be affected by the gravity although the effect would be extremely weak under the normal conditions. Once a reporter asked Einstein, tell us the theory of relativity in one sentence. Einstein said in reply, I was not able to write theory of relativity in one book. How can I describe in one sentence? Einstein's interpretation was that light does not really have mass, but that energy is affected by gravity just like mass is. The energy is a light beam is equivalent to a certain amount of mass given by the famous equation E is equal to mc square, where c is the speed of light. In chemistry, one learns electrons obey Pauli exclusion principle, which forbids more than one electron from the occupying the same orbital if they have same spin. The Pauli exclusion principle is obeyed by the subatomic particles of which matter is compared but disobeyed by the particles called photons, of which a beam of light is made. The boundary between the physics and other sciences is not always clear. 
for instance chemists study atoms and molecules which are what matter is built from and there are some scientists who would be equally willing to call themselves physical chemists or chemical physicists and math is also playing a great role in this i know what you are thinking do you have a problem with physics is it a boring subject no you just need 5 minutes to understand the physics physics daily but for 5 minutes you will recognize the value of physics with that you can be the master of physics with that and if you have a problem you can comment in the comment section i will clear you for daily informational videos subscribe this channel and click on the bell icon allah hafiz